हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज लेक्चर टू ऑफ सब्जेक्ट पावर जनरेशन लेट्स कंटिन्यू दिस सब्जेक्ट लेक्चर सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू नो अब यू आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट द वर्किंग ऑफ पावर एंड साइकिल सो हियर वी नो डेट एट इन अ वर्किंग इज सिंपल एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू इट्स अ सिंपल इज वर्क ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फीड इंजन सो प्रोसेस स्टार्ट विद द फीड पंप the feed pump supplies the water necessary amount to the steam and then steam is converted uh, water is converted to steam in the boiler then uh, water is fed. this uh, steam is fed into the turbine this is the heat supplied to the generation of steam and supplied water when the steam is generated it is transferred to the steam turbine and the turbine is start to rotate it gives the water after the steam is transferred to the steam condenser there is heat is ejected and the steam is converted into the hot water and is converted into cold water and supplies to the pump as you know cycle repeat and repeat again so in the next slide uh, i will do some energy analysis <coughs> so in our energy analysis uh, h1 is equal to f4 low pressure saturated liquid as you know that h1 is a uh, enthalpy at which uh, water is entered into the <coughs> pump so uh, here the work done in the pump because in a pump we need to do some work and in a, uh, we need to supply work through electric power so uh, work uh, w pump it will equal to h2 minus h1 and in the form of pressure we can say that is a vf uh, pressure high pressure minus low pressure and as we know that uh, after uh, going through the pump the pressure will be high and before the pump pressure will be low right so vf is equal to specific volume of saturated liquid at low pressure that is our next is the q in that is heat addition heat addition taking place in a boiler as you know that so here the heat addition will be as t minus s2 and the next is rate of heat transfer we can uh, find the rate of heat transfer that is the heat addition into mass flow rate that is rate of heat transfer depend on the mass flow rate that how much uh, mass we are flowing through this boiler right next is usually the Q addition will be specified or else the high temperature or pressure. So you can find ST, right? So <coughs> next is uh, heat ejection that is Q out. It is taking place in condenser unit H. And here the uh, formula for Q out will be equal to S4 minus H1 sin L B6. Okay, next is uh, work done in turbine. <laughs> it will be <coughs> equal to ST minus S4 that is turbine work. And uh, if uh, we Uh, we need to uh, calculate the power. Then we know that power is equal to work into mass flow rate, right? So, and uh, here low pressure, as we know that from the uh, from this diagram, we can see that uh, from this uh, from this diagram, it is clear that uh, enthalpy that T sub four is is a isentropic process. So isentropic means and entropies will be constant. So S3, S3 will be equal to S4 here, and also S1 equal to S2, right? So, uh, so after the uh, <coughs> energy analysis, let's see the efficiency. How we calculate the efficiency? And net work output will be equal to turbine work minus pump work because here turbine uh, we are getting work, so turbine work will be positive and the pump. Uh, we if we need to give the work so here negative so net will be obtained whatever we get the net uh, network it will be equal to turbine work minus pump work this supplied will be equal to Q in minus Q out and thermal efficiency as well as the W net by Q added simply so uh, it's a ratio of W net and Q added we find the thermal efficiency of the Sankine cycle and most of the question we need to calculate the work input uh, of work output and thermal efficiency okay. So ideal and kind cycle is basically, uh, as we know that uh, the nothing <coughs> uh, there is two type of cycle, ideal and kind cycle, and uh, that uh, normal uh, practical and kind cycle. So in ideal and kind cycle, uh, uh, it consists of mainly four process. That is one to this is isentropic pump, <coughs> and second is two cities constant pressure heat addition. Three is for isentropic turbine and four on constant pressure heat addition. As we know that practically it is not possible that one to two is isentropic pump. 
uh, because uh, as we know that isentropic mass entropy constant and it is very difficult for a practical process it is very difficult to entropy need to constant it is somehow increases but it a uh, very less increases that's why we can uh, but we can say that is isentropic and two such is practical uh, constant pressure heat addition so also two such three Uh, is a boiler here the constant pressure heat taken so in practical it is not possible somehow pressure will rise so but in ideal case we can see the constant pressure and this four is same that isentropic turbine it is not practically possible so uh, next uh, <coughs> slide we see the most complicated cycle that is means what do you mean by most complicated cycle most complicated cycle means uh, previous slide we <coughs> learned about the practical Uh, cycle and simple Rankine uh, cycle, but for increasing the efficiency of this Rankine uh, uh, cycle, we need uh, we added uh, uh, more condenser, more pump, and some irrigation taking place, heat addition taking place, and we uh, heater uh, we are using reheater and mixer chamber. So increase the efficiency. That's a more complicated cycle. And here, as we added uh, more pump, <coughs> we heater, then TH diagram also. increases are uh, also different from the practical cycle oh it's a combined cycle so uh, if you added uh, if you combine the gas cycle that's batten cycle and the rankine cycle so that cycle is called combined cycle as we as you seen that uh, there is a simple heat addition uh, taking place what is this heat in a heat addition that in a gas cycle whatever heat is addition taking place which is which heat is used to which is it used to uh which heat is given to the boiler to <coughs> rise the temperature of the water so here uh, so here same heat exchanger is using so this a uh, uh, combined cycle okay thank you for this uh, uh, lecture and uh, in a lecture 3 we will discuss next topic and please uh, uh, please follow some numerical question to this and uh, you get some numerical question a pk and arc book and other book so, okay thank you for this lecture uh, we'll continue in the next lecture that is lecture 3 thank you